I can read about baby animals. By Elizabeth Warren, illustrated by M. Morris. A kitten is a baby cat, but did you know that a cygnet is a baby swan, a gosling is a baby goose, and a pollywog or tadpole is the name for a baby frog. Babies are wonderful, aren't they? Just like children, animal babies eat and sleep and play and grow, but unlike children who are very much the same, animal babies can be very different. A baby blue whale is called a calf. <clears throat> it is bigger than a full-grown elephant when it is born. It weighs as much as 100 men. It is the biggest baby in the world. A pygmy shrew is smaller than a bumblebee when it is born. It is pink and blind and helpless and weighs less than a dime. Yet, in only four weeks, it will have a coat of thick, soft fur that will be fully grown, ready to leave the nest and care for itself. While they are young, most animal babies need their mothers to feed and protect them. Some grow up very quickly, but others take a long time. This baby lamb stood on her wobbly legs soon after she was born. Soon she was able to run and play in the meadow. When she is a year old, the little lamb will be fully grown. A baby elephant is not grown up until he is 20 years old. When he is small, he stays close to his mother. He wants to touch her and feel safe. His mother winds her trunk around his small body and gives him a hug. Sometimes he runs away. When he does not come back, his mother goes after him. Then she uses her trunk to give him a spanking. The little elephant learns an important lesson. His mother's trunk is good for hugging and for spanking. This young turtle never saw its mother. The turtle hatched out of an egg in the ground and slowly dug its way to the top. The turtle had to know how to feed and protect itself as soon as it was born. Little wolf pups are cared for by both of their parents. Both parents take turns hunting for food and staying at home to guard their children. If danger threatens, one parent will leave the den and try to lead the enemy away. Baby animals are born knowing what is right for them to eat. We call this kind of knowing instinct. Some animals, like these baby rabbits, are plant eaters. When they were very young, they snuggled up to their mother for comfort. But now they are old enough to use their long front teeth to nibble carrots, parsley, and tender grass in the meadow. Tall giraffes are plant eaters, too. This young giraffe is too small to reach the tender leaves at the top of the tree. His mother stretches her long neck and picks a bunch of the sweetest leaves for him. Young lions and tigers are meat eaters. Before they are grown, they must learn to hunt and to follow moving prey. They must learn to use their sharp teeth and claws. These lion cubs are learning to hunt. They are trying to catch their mother's tail. She flicks it just out of reach while they try to pounce or leap on it. Sometimes the mother lioness brings home a bone from one of her hunting trips. She lets her cubs gnaw on the bone and chew on the scraps of meat. The cubs learn to use their teeth and claws by having play fights. They wrestle together, pulling one another down and tumbling over and over. If one of the cubs gets too rough, mother will cuff or hit him with her paw. These tiger cubs are big enough to go hunting with their mother. At first, they will only be allowed to watch, but soon they will be able to help. They will learn to lie in wait quietly. They will learn to hunt with, with teeth and claws. Foxes, skunks, bears, and raccoons have babies who will eat almost anything. These bear cubs were born in a cave in the middle of winter. Outside, the temperature drops and the snow falls heavily, but the two little bears stay snug and warm in their cozy den. By spring, they are big enough to leave the cave and explore the outside world. What good things there are to eat! Fish and meat, ripe berries, and something that is wonderfully sticky and sweet. Everything tastes good to a hungry bear. 
Young raccoons live with their mother in a hollow tree. They sleep most of the day and hunt for food at night. When a baby horse is born, the baby foal looks very much like its mother and father. A young fawn looks very much like the deer it will grow up to be. This young calf looks like its parents too. But can you tell who the parents of these tiny animals are? They are so small that this litter, or group of 18 newborn possums, could fit into a teaspoon. They don't look like their parents. They hardly even look like themselves. After they are born, the baby possums crawl into a special pouch on their mother's stomach. They stay there for about three months, eating, sleeping, and growing bigger. When they are big enough to leave the pouch, they enjoy taking a ride on their mother's back. These little ducklings look like their parents as soon as they are born. They have soft feathers. Their eyes are open and they can see. In no time at all, they follow their mother into the water. Their mother swims and the ducklings swim too. How different the little blue jays are. They are tiny and helpless. They have no feathers and they cannot see. They do not begin to look like their parents until they are almost two weeks old. Animal babies can be quite different, but when it comes to playing and having fun, they are like children everywhere. Young beavers and otters make slides in the snow or on mud banks. They have a wonderful time sliding on their stomachs with their arms folded tight against their bodies. Baby elephant calves like to shower each other with water. Sometimes the wrong elephant gets wet. Then there's trouble. Young foxes play pounce using a pebble or a turtle shell. Sometimes they creep up and try to surprise each other. Lambs play a game of follow the leader. The first little lamb leaps into the air and all the others follow. Baby baboons play king of the hill. Who will be the king? Everyone tries to pull the monkey off the hill. The winner takes his place. He is the new king. Jumping, running, learning, playing, and eating, baby animals are always busy. The only time they are quiet is when they are fast asleep.